Hello everyone. This video presents a notable event that happened on each day from the past week in history. On January 21st, 2023, we celebrate Squirrel Appreciation Day, one of the greatest holidays in all of the rodent kingdom. Yes, squirrels are rodents, cousins to mice and rats, although with a much more attractive coat. Tree squirrels, ground squirrels, chipmunks, prairie dogs, and flying squirrels are all in this expansive family. Although squirrels are native to the Americas, Asia, and Africa, they had to be introduced to Australia and Europe. Often accused of crimes such as stealing food from bird feeders and burglarizing houses, squirrels provide a lot of visual enjoyment as they scurry about looking for food, especially for old folks that hand feed them in the park. Ground squirrels include the weather forecasting groundhogs, but the main type we think of in the U.S. are fox squirrels, red squirrels, and gray squirrels. How do you plan to celebrate Squirrel Appreciation Day? On January 22, 1992, NASA launched mission STS-42, the Space Shuttle Discovery, into space with a crew that included Ukrainian-Canadian Dr. Roberta Bondar, a neurologist. The first Canadian woman and the first neurologist to become an astronaut, Bondar is a woman of many accomplishments and is yet another example of Canadians of Ukrainian descent such as Alex Trebek and Wayne Gretzky to achieve great things. A highly accomplished scholar, Bondar was educated at the University of Guelph, BSc, the University of Western Ontario, MSc, the University of Toronto, PhD, and McMaster University, MD. Bondar's scientific drive and sense of adventure led her to become one of the first six people in the Canadian Astronaut Corps in 1983. Who is your favorite astronaut? On January 23, 1570, history of the infamous type was made when James Stewart, the Earl of Moray, was murdered by an assassin using a firearm. Stewart was acting as regent for the young King James VI of Scotland. James VI became King of Scotland at the age of one year old when his mother, Mary Queen of Scots, abdicated the throne. James Stuart was himself the illegitimate son of King James V of Scotland. Ongoing resentment of Mary's supporters bode ill for her successors. At the town of Linlithgow, the Earl was passing in a public cavalcade down the street when James Hamilton of Bothwell House fired a single shot from a carbine, striking the Earl a fatal blow in the gut. The shot had been fired from a window in the home of Archbishop Hamilton. The Earl was succeeded by his eldest daughter Elizabeth Stuart, second Countess of Moray. On January 24, 2023, Americans celebrate National Peanut Butter Day, a day when we can savor the flavor of our favorite bread spread that lends itself to making cookies, pies, candies, and other foodstuffs. Who do we have to thank for this wonderful food? It may surprise you that George Washington Carver did not invent peanut butter, since he was such an influential proponent of the goober pea and is often erroneously given credit for this particular advance in eating pleasure. The ancient Aztecs and Incas made a form of peanut butter about 1000 BC, though the modern form owes its existence to evolutionary steps by Marcus Edson, John Kellogg, Ambrose Straub, and Joseph Rosefield. While peanut butter made its mass market debut in 1904, it is Rosefield we can thank for peanut butter as we know it. On January 25, 1585, Walter Raleigh, an English explorer and adventurer, was knighted by Queen Elizabeth I of England, perhaps because he named a region of North America, Virginia, in honor of the Virgin Queen. Helping to suppress Irish rebellion, defending England against the Spanish Armada, and being a key figure in the colonization of North America, Raleigh became somewhat of a celebrity of his time, although he also had some problems along the way. Plunked into jail for marrying without the Queen's permission, Raleigh was released and chased after the mythical city of gold, El Dorado. After Elizabeth died, he once again went to prison for conspiring against King James I, but again was released to pursue El Dorado. After illegally attacking and looting a Spanish outpost, Raleigh was executed by the English to mollify Spain. Does Raleigh deserve his spot on the list of 100 Greatest Britons? 
On January 26, 2009, a single California woman gave birth to eight babies at one time, becoming the first mother of octuplets that survived infancy. Nadia Salman was born a native Californian to parents of Lithuanian and Palestinian descent, and while she was married from 1996 to 2008, she was single when she underwent fertility treatments prior to having her eight babies. She attended Mount San Antonio College and earned a BS and a psychiatric technician license, applying her education to a job in a mental health facility for three years. Prior to the record-setting births, Nadia, or Natalie, as she is now known, gave birth to six other children. It was later revealed that a fertility doctor had transplanted 12 frozen embryos into Solomon's womb, eight of which were born. On January 27, 1880, Thomas Edison patented the incandescent light bulb, the first truly commercially viable electric light bulb, but certainly not the first light bulb. Prior to Edison's patent, other inventors experimented with various ways to produce light from electricity, including Englishman Joseph Swan, who actually marketed the first light bulbs used to light homes and other buildings in 1881. Prior to Swan and Edison's successes at producing viable electric light, Ebenezer Kinnersley, an English scientist, first showed how a wire heated by passing an electric current through it caused the wire to glow, producing the first man-made incandescent light. All these inventors laid the groundwork for Edison's patent, while still others claimed to be the real inventor. As a question for my students and subscribers, who would you credit with being the inventor of the light bulb? As a question for my students and subscribers, which event from this past week in history would you most like to learn more about? Please let me know in the comment section below this video. If you liked this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. For image, audio, and other credits and attributions for components of the individual videos in this compilation, please see the descriptions of their respective videos, which are linked to in this video's description.